homeward bound daily devotional by Andrew G. White. Jesus, a righteous judge. October 30th. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 17. Jesus clothed his divinity with humanity in order that he might reach humanity. The apostle says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. For verily he took not on the nature of angels, but he took on the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that is tempted. Jesus is the only one that has ever walked in the flesh who is able to judge righteously. Look at Looking at the outward acts, people may condemn and uproot that which they think to be tears, but may greatly mistake. Both the minister and laity should be Bible students and understand how to act in regard to erring. They are not to move rashly, to be actuated by prejudice or partiality to be ready with an unfeeling heart to uproot one and tear down another for this is most solemn work in criticizing and condemning their brethren and sisters the accusers wound and bruise the soul for whom Christ has died Christ has purchased them with his own precious blood and although others judge from outward appearance pronounce sentence against them, their judgment in the courts of heaven is more favorable than that of the accuser. Before any of you speak against another believer or act decidedly to cut them down off from church fellowship, follow the injunction of the apostle. Examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own self. Know ye not your own selves how that Christ is in you except you be reprobate? Let those who would dispose of their brethren and sisters look well to the character of their own thoughts and motives, their impulse, purposes and deeds. If upon careful, prayerful examination of themselves we find that we are not able to bear the test of human investigation, then how shall we endure the test of eyes of God if we set ourselves up as judges for of others? Before judging others, our first work is to watch and pray to institute a warfare against evil of our own hearts through the grace of Christ. Thank you for listening. This is your daily devotional. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Homeward Bound.